Hello and a very warm welcome to all my dear viewers. Well, in our today's video, we are going to go through the logical reasoning section for the IMO paper for class 4. So I have picked up some really interesting logical reasoning questions which cover quite a few question types that appear in the logical reasoning section. I would recommend even the 3rd graders and the 5th graders to try out these questions. Well for each of these questions I have given you a limited time to think but if you need more time please pause the video and then solve the question and thereafter we will match our answers and then you can mark yourself. So, without any delay, let's get started. But before that, do not forget to like, share and subscribe Curiosity Hive. So, the first question here is, what is the missing number? Here is the image puzzle and we need to find what number will fit here. Well, let's look at the solution now if you look at this carefully and if we multiply alternate balls so 7 times 6 is actually 42 let's look at another pair which would be 7 times 9 this is equal to 63 so we can use this logic and to find the missing one we need to do 6 times the missing block is equal to 24 so 6 times something is equal to 24 and the next combination is 9 times something is equal to 36. And if you know your tables right, the answer is 4. So the right answer is option B, 4. Next question. At a fair, every 6th person was given a pen and every 10th person was given a book. What was the position of the first person who received both a pen and book? Well, what this indicates is that every 6th position gets a pen. That means every multiple of 6 receives a pen and every 10th position, that means every multiple of 10 receives a book. And we need to find the one which will receive the pen as well as the book. So, what we need to find is the LCM, that is the lowest common multiple of 6 and 10. How do we do that? Well, multiples of 6, it will be 6, 6 times 2, 12, 6 times 3, 18, 6 times 4, 24, 6 times 5, 30, 36, 42, 48 and so on. How about 10? 10 is 10, multi first multiple, this is the second multiple, third multiple, fourth, fifth and sixth. And here the first common multiple between both of them is 30. Hence our answer is option B 30 which will receive both pen as well as the book. Let's read the next question which says some letters are given which are numbered 1 to 5. Here as you can see find that combination of numbers so that letters arranged accordingly form a meaningful word. Well, if you look carefully, when you unscramble it, the word that you get is S-Q-U-A-R-E, which is square. S is 6, Q is 2. Now, if you look at this combination, only the first one has the first two letters right. So, obviously, this will be the right answer. You don't need to solve for the rest. Let's go to the next question. Which one word cannot be made from the letters of the given word? The given word is intelligence. I hope you got this quickly. Now if you look at the given words, it is A which does not come in the word intelligence. So that is why you cannot form A. So this is your right answer. Next question. 
Select the correct mirror image of figure X. Here is the figure and this is the mirror. Choose your right option. Well, when there is a vertical reflection, the first row would be the last row in the mirror image. So, HVT will be the last row which is only coming in option D. So, we can choose this to be the right answer. Next question. So, here some relationship is given. You need to find which figure is formed by exactly 10 straight lines. Here are your options. Now let's try to solve this question. Now let's first from the options find the figure which has 10 lines. The first one is made of a square which has 4 sides. So there is 4 and there are 2 center lines dividing the square into equal quadrants. So that makes it 4 plus 2 which is equal to 6 lines. The next image again is made of a square which has 4 lines. And it has two sleeping and two standing lines dividing the inside of the square, which is again another four lines, which is eight lines. The third option has a square, which has four lines, another square inside, which is again four more lines and two lines intersecting both these squares. So in all, this image has 10 lines and option D has a bigger diamond which is also a square which has four lines inner diamond also is a square which has four lines then diagonal division of two lines and vertical and horizontal division of two lines so this makes it eight plus four which is 12 lines now we have found the figure which is made up of 10 straight lines which is option c but wait a minute this option c means this figure that means the right answer is option b because when we select option b what it indicates is that this figure stands for the 10 lined figure which is required in our answer so that's the right answer this is how we make use of the relationship. We find the right answer and then see what it corresponds to and the final answer will be this corresponding answer. Let's go to the next question. How many more sleeping lines than vertical lines are in the given letters? Now this needs you to mark the lines carefully. Well, let's take a look at the answer here. Let's first find the sleeping lines. Now, the sleeping lines are these lines. So, there is 1, there is 2 here, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. See, this is cut in between, so we cannot count it as 1. Then there is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13. So, 13 and A and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 7 in L. So in all there are 20 sleeping lines. Now let's find the vertical lines or the standing lines which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there are 6 vertical lines in A and here there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and here 7 and there are 7 in L. 6 plus 7 is 13 and how many more sleeping lines are there? Well, we need to subtract these two and we get the answer to be 7 which is your option C. Next question. The next question reads, which of the following parts is not embedded in the figure X? This is the figure X. Choose your right option.
so now let's try to fit these figures let me try with the first easiest diamond that i see well it clearly fits here in the main image let's take the next figure let me take option d now this also i can find a fit here uh, let's come to option a now this all skewed hexagon can also be plotted here but what i cannot plot is the option c in the embedded figure so your right answer is option c study the adjoining diagram to answer the question given below look at this diagram and tell grape tree is southeast of which plant from this given diagram now grape tree is supposed to be southeast if this is southeast that means this direction is south and 90 degree to the south would be east so if this is south this is east opposite to south is north and opposite to east is west so from mango tree this direction would be south east hence our right answer is option a the mango tree now this is our last and final question pay attention and find the missing block such that either side of this four dots have a relationship identify it and find the answer well now if you look carefully in the first pair there are two sleeping lines in the first letter and one slanting line in the next figure that means the number of slanting line is one less than the number of sleeping line well looking by that logic if we look at k a k has two slanting lines that means by this logic this figure should have one more line than this so it should have three sleeping lines and the option which has three sleeping lines is e so your right answer is option b e i hope this was a beneficial practice session for you for more such videos do remember to subscribe to curiosity hive and also click on the bell icon and if you have any queries any questions or any suggestions please feel free to reach out to us at any of our social media handles Well till we meet again take care